We're continuing with the rehousings. We're about to do my Philogius or Philogius Crassipes Unice. I've had this one now for a little over a year, I think, year and a half. Uh, I love the Philogius species. I have the regular Crassipes. I have a male, and I have uh, two slings, or now juveniles. I'm going to have to rehouse pretty soon. But they're from Australia. Nasty bite. Just a heads up to those of you that own dogs, I believe that this species is 100% fatal when they bite dogs. There's something to do with the venom, probably because they're preyed upon by dingoes um, that kills dogs. So we're being extra careful with this one. I'm probably going to use the flood method here because it doesn't have a complete burrow. It's part of a burrow. I'm gonna to try to basically flood the burrow so it comes out, hopefully goes in the catch cup, right into the enclosure. So uh, these guys, I do keep moist. I've heard of people keeping them dry but this one is actually kept uh, fairly moist. They are supposedly fossorial. I will say this one dug a little bit as a juvenile. I mean, when I got her, she was about yay big. She dug a little bit, but she was always right at the mouth of her burrow. And then since she hit about three inches or so, three and a half inches, she's barely ever in her burrow. And it's kind of not like an ornate burrow, like some species, she's got two exits and entrances. It's just kind of a hide at this point. So what I got for her here is deep substrate, it's moist. And she has a cork bark hide that hopefully she can adopt. And they obviously, if you see when I open this one up, are very prolific webbers. So I'm going to hopefully encourage a little bit of webbing because I kind of like the webbing. So let me pull these out of the way. And let's see how well this works. as I pour water all into here, which I don't want. There he or she is. All right, that worked really well. I'm not gonna lie. No, 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 don't go in there. Yeah, you don't wanna go in there. Nasty. Trick here is not to catch your legs. Oh, that's great. Cat back on for a minute. Pull this out of the way. I almost had it. I didn't want to get your legs caught in there. Did she actually go back in the den? Yes. She's on the top. All right, there we go. <clears throat> One more time. There we go. Perfect. Bro, knock on, bro. it off. So there he or she is. And of course, she's going to climb all the way up the top where my fingers are. And these guys are very, very fast. I have video up. It's actually one of the first videos I ever posted <clears throat> to YouTube. I was trying to do a feeding video with my uh, mature male before it had matured out. And the speed that these things move at when they get going is, is kind of frightening. I don't know how well that's showing on there, but I'm gonna go ahead and try to get her in here. Oh, perfect. All right, now what I'm gonna do is probably tilt her right to that burrow. There she is. Logius crassipes. Unice and right in the burrow. Perfect. Now, as you can see, that was quite an adventure for her. I just flooded her den twice, um, tried to scoop her up twice, and she's still relatively calm. So I know we talk about the fast and feisty species, but I found that if you can sometimes keep them nice and calm, they're kind of a pleasure to rehouse. All right, I'm gonna put this on before, as I say that, she starts to bolt, but I love these little, these are the ones I picked up. My, actually, my mom got them for me for Christmas. 
from um, Amazon. So I'll put a link to these, anybody interested in, but I will have to block off some of the vent because I do want to keep it a little bit moisture in here. Oh, a note on the substrate. The substrate for this one is topsoil mixed with a healthy dose of vermiculite. I know some people say you don't need to mix it with verm vermiculite. That's fine. I'm not telling people they have to do it. I like it. I like how it works with my spiders that have to be kept moist because it allows the moisture to trickle down in as my son for some reason lets the bugs out. So we're going to cut it there, but there she is, Phlogius crassipes or Phlogius crassipes unisa. She boogies around a little bit and I keep saying she, I'm just hoping it's a female.